everybody and welcome to Making It Up, where we mix makeup and beauty with a good dollop of spooky. In today's video, we are keeping on the beauty side of things because I have Marcher's Birchbox for you. Here you go. Um, so if you don't know what Birchbox is, I'm just going to run through it as quickly. So this is a UK based monthly beauty subscription box. It costs £12.95 a month, included in postage and packaging to receive. You always get at least five uh, items in the box. General RRP value is around about the £30 plus mark. The Where Birchbox differs is in the size of the products that you receive. They are generally uh, sample sizes or deluxe minis. Yes, we do get some full size items. They're generally makeup items, lipsticks, lip liners, things like that. Um, I like to compare this box to the Feel Unique Beauty Kit. So without further ado, uh, let's get right into it. So, first things first, we are back to the drawer style of box, which I really, really appreciate. I love these. I think they're absolutely great. This month, we also seem to have a collaboration with Frida. Now, that's not the hair care brand Frida, I don't think. Um, but here we go. And the box is so funky. Look at that. There we go. And this is the outside of the box. It's really, really brilliant. Um, I believe this is all to do with International Women's Day. I think that's the um, theme of the March Birch Box. So uh, let's dive in and see, shall we? We always do get a little leaflet on the top. This tells us about the products that are in the box and the RRP si uh, values of the full size version. So not necessarily the size that we've got in the box if you know what. So we'll refer to that as we go along if we feel we need to. I'm going to try and just sort of put my hand in here, pick a product out and then close it and see what we've got. That's this. First things first, okay we had these a couple of months ago from Look Fantastic. Um, these are the Magnetone Wipeout Swipes. They are eco-friendly microfiber makeup removal pads. It says it removes your makeup with just water. I disagree with that a wee bit. And here we go. Yeah, they are exactly the same as what we got last time in Look Fantastic. We have a pink, round, fluffy microfiber pad. A uh, pink stripey one and we have a grey stripey one. Uh, now because I've already got a set of these I may well um, put those to one side and give those away in some shape or form um, because I do seem to have a lot and to be honest the size of these I mean they're okay for taking your eye makeup off um, but I personally prefer the larger ones for doing all over my face so but anyway I think they've got a retail value of around about five or six pounds um, but that's I Item number one. Item number two is oh oh. Uh, this is by Beauty Neat Beauty. Oh, this is great. Um, and it's the Gold Angel Revitalizing Eye Gels. Now then, um, we oh, do you know? I've used um, another pack of these recently from Beauty Neat Beauty. They were a different outer packaging. They weren't the Gold Angel ones. I can't remember what they were. But they were the uh, hydrogel eye masks. Um, they were really good. The only problem I do find with these sorts of eye masks is they tend to be very, very serum heavy. So you pop them on and then they end up sliding down your face unless you're completely laid flat. Now, the fact that you have to lay flat you know, to keep them on there is a great idea because it means you're going to relax and actually pamper yourself and take that bit of um, time for a self-care routine but it is a wee bit annoying when you can start feeling them coming down here anyway um, I'm very pleased to have those always pleased to get eye masks they will probably more than likely have an RRP of around about four pounds um, and no item number two item number three okay feels like we've got a bottle and it's by the skincare range Balance Me, which is great. I like this skincare range. It's a 30ml bottle of a BHA exfoliating concentrate. Okay. Ooh, it's got salicylic 
<laughs> salicylic acid or silly sally acid as um lisa from beyond authentic calls it uh it's a rich salicylic can't say it now a salicylic acid rich concentrate is a leave-on chemical exfoliant okay created to help gently remove dead skin cells reduce blemishes target enlarged pores and improve hydration to reveal a softer brighter more youthful looking complexion okay well, certainly sounds like my sort of skin type, I have to say. Um, directions apply to a beauty pad. Gently wipe over a cleansed, dry skin, avoiding the delicate eye area. No rinsing required. So, it sounds so literally, you just pop a few drops of this on, wipe it over, leave it, and then probably in the morning or whatever, um, when you do your facial wash, you know, any dead skin cells will come off of it. That's what I assume. Um, I like the idea of that. I am going to um, reserve just a little bit of hesitancy because things like chemical peels are not normally something I use. I have such hypersensitive skin that those sort of things can basically just be too strong uh, and can burn my skin a bit. But I have been very impressed with this facial care brand. Um, so I will give this a go. Obviously, if I have a reaction or I don't get on with it or whatever, you will find out because they uh, I do do update videos on all my products that I do get in my subscription boxes. Um, if you didn't know that, I do. I don't just do these sort of videos. I do all sorts of stuff. Um, like, say, the updates. I do makeup looks, collaborations with Lisa from Beyond Authentic and any other crazy fools we can get to do it with us as well uh, and i also have a live stream on a friday evening called the friday night natter it starts at 8 p.m uk time each and every friday virtual get together come along as though you're gonna meet your mates down the pub uh, but you don't have to leave the comfort of your own home to do it we are all a bit bonkers we're a couple of signers short of a picnic but if that sounds like a community you would like to become a part of please do bob in say hi we would love to welcome you so Item number four next out of the box is a tube. Okay, and this is by the hair care brand Percy and Reed, right? And it's the I Need a Hero Wonder Balm Hair Primer 30ml tube. Hmm. I think I've tried this before, but I think they must have changed their packaging because it wasn't like this. And if I remember rightly, I wasn't overly impressed with it in all honesty. Percy and Reed are uh, not the cheapest hair care brand on the market. Um, I've tried a few products from them now and I have to say they've been all right. Um, they've not been horrible or I've had a reaction or anything like that to them. But I don't think, personally, I don't think they're worth the money. Like I say, I think I've already tried this product. And I, it was nice. It was all right. But I don't think it actually did anything for my hair. So, potentially, I might just gift that one on. But I believe this has probably got a value of, again, of around about five or six pounds. I think it's six pounds this size. Anyway, item number four. And the last item in the box is a little miniature. And it's a miniature of the Ciate London Glow 2 Highlighter. Now then, this is a free sample, okay? So, how do you know free samples? Because somewhere on them, it will say, not for sale. And I'm not sure if the camera's going to focus, but it does actually say that on the bottom of the this item now i know that is something that really really annoys a number of people because at the end of the day you know if shops were open you know you'd potentially um maybe in debenhams or somewhere like that you know potentially you could have picked that up for now whereas when you've bought this box i mean you, you're generally paying around about two pound i think it's about two pound 20 an item something like that that you generally pay 225 something like that so mm, that's a little bit mm. however product wise i'm very pleased to have it i already have a Ciate london highlighter glow to highlighter in a full size and funnily enough i'm wearing it today that is in the shade celeste and i've had that well over a year and i'm really really love it this one uh let me see if i can see what shade it's in it's in the shade moon dust okay so this is different to the one i've already got 
which is good. Oh my God. Right. Oh, look how cute this is. Okay. Mm. There we go. So, oh, it's so dinky. It's so dinky. So, there's uh, the outside packaging. And there's the inside. Now then, straight away, I'm looking at this and going, I know somebody who really loved that. And that is Becky from Beauty with Becky Kiss. She is a member of the Authentic Army, um, along with Kelly, Afflicted Beauty, and Vanessa, Little Miss Budget. I'm not the biggest fan of pinky highlighters, Becky is, uh, which is why I say she would love this. Um, now then, I'm really, I really, I, I really want to swatch it actually, because although I'm not a fan of pink highlighters, it does look a really, really nice colour. I really, really love these products. I've been very, very impressed with Seattle London. Um, and actually, little spoiler alert, might have done a bit of a haul from them. Ooh. If you're not already subscribed and you fancy watching that Seattle London haul, please do make sure you have pressed that subscribe button uh, and the notification bell and turn that on to all so that YouTube tells you every time I upload a, a video, which is around about two, maybe three times a week. So let's go through uh, the little leaflet, just make sure we've got everything we should have. So yeah mini um seattle london moon dust glow to highlighter the full size version of this is 26 pounds and this is the full size version so if i hold them both up together you'll see the size difference there we go now then uh the big the full size is five grams this is 1.5 grams so it's literally a third so believe it or not this little miniature is going to be worth around about eight nine pounds so uh, and if I just quickly show you, like say, my other Seattle London one, I have had over a year. Yes, it's been well used, as you can probably see, there's a bit of a few dints and stuff in the middle, but yeah, it lasts forever. Um, the Balance Me Exfoliating uh, Concentrate, the full size version of this, which looking at the picture is a, a 180ml uh, bottle, is £26. So this 30ml bottle being a sixth, you're looking at this uh, being worth around about £5. So we've already got sort of £14 worth of product in these two items, um, which means it's covered the customer's box, which is fantastic. Now then, um, these, okay, the RRP of these is a full size, which looks like you get three sets of two, so three of these is £15, so yeah, a box of two of these is basically worth £5, so we've got £19 worth there-ish. The Percy and Reed, the full size version of this is 75ml, so literally one and a half times this uh, size, and that has an RRP value of £19. So actually, when you work it out, I think this is probably worth a wee bit more than I said. I said it was probably worth about £6. It's probably more worth like £9 in all honesty. So if we say £9 for that, we've got £28 there. Plus we have uh, the Beautynique Beauty Eye Mask. And actually these have an RRP of £6. So there we go, everybody. That is this month's Birch Box with an overall RRP of around about the £34 mark. Let's have a look. So what about the curation? Well, you've got a little bit of everything, haven't you? Hair care, uh, skincare tools, you've got self pamper time, your eye mask, your exfoliator and your little mini highlighter. Um, I think it's a great curation, a little bit of everything. We've got a lot of female founded brands. Um, I thought this was celebrating International Women's Day and I'm pretty sure I'm right. Those are the Seattle London, the Balance Me and the Beautynique Beauty, which I did know that that was a female founded brand. Um, so yeah. What do you reckon to that? Would you pay £13 for this box? Do you already subscribe to Birch? But if you are interested in the Birch boxes, please look around for discount codes. There are always ones floating out and around 
and about um so yeah all thoughts and feelings uh in that comment section below everybody thank you for watching as always if you are new to my channel the warmest of welcomes i hope you consider joining me on this crazy youtube journey um if you have enjoyed today's video please do hit that thumbs up button just helps youtube promote the channel a wee bit more so we can grow this wonderful and awesome authentic army Talking of the Authentic Army, links to everybody's um, YouTube channels and blogs and things will be all in the description box below, so please do go check that, their content out. Uh, and other forms of social media that you may follow me on. Instagram, of course. That is where I post about when the uploads are going to happen or if I require any help or I've got any special videos coming up. Mm -hmm. um, so please do go and uh, give that a follow for me. And also with Lisa from Beyond Authentic, we have a joint Facebook page. Details will be on screen for you now. That's for you, the community, to promote yourselves if you are a fellow creator of any sort or if you're just a, a, a bit of a clever clogs and you know about new product releases or sales that are happening, please do go over to there and tell the entire community about you or your knowledge. All right, everybody, I think that's everything for today. Enjoy the rest of your day, keep safe and well, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!